Hello, I am Pearl Lacanio Fori. Coming up, mixed reactions greet calls for the Electoral Commission to extend the time for the just ended limited voter registration exercise. This and more here on City News Daily on City TV. In our first story, the Electoral Commission concluded its two week nationwide limited voter registration exercise yesterday. There have been several calls for the Electoral Commission to extend the time for the exercise, but the EC says it is yet to take that decision. Commenting on the matter, the National Democratic Congress's national organizer, Kofi Adam, says such calls are misplaced. He argues that those who could not register during the 10-day period can do so at the district offices of the Electoral Commission. But the New Patriotic Party's campaign manager, that's Peter McManey, disagrees, insisting there is the need for an extension of the exercise. Meanwhile, some political parties want the Electoral Commission to convene an emergency inter-party advisory committee meeting as soon as possible. According to them, this would provide the avenue for the key stakeholders in the November polls to review the just-ended exercise. The Director of Elections for the NDC, Samuel Ofosuampofo, who spoke to City News Daily, made the call. The People's National Convention's General Secretary, Atik Mohammed, who joined calls for an IPAC meeting, said he believed the EC already had plans to call one soon. We'll stay with the limited voter registration exercise a while longer because suspected burglars have ransacked the EC's office in the Savalugu constituency in the northern region just a day after the exercise ended. According to the EC's district officer, John Mensa, the burglars made away with some computers and other gadgets. He was, however, quick to point out that documents from the just ended exercise were intact. Let's move away from the just-ended limited voter registration exercise and four people died this morning in an accident when a Metro Mass Transit bus collided with a tipper truck around Miocho near Tema. 41 other persons sustained injuries and they have been sent to the Tema General Hospital. The Metro Mass Transit bus was reported to have been traveling from Mipe in the voter region to Tema. Speaking to City News Daily, the Public Relations Office of the Tema Regional Police Command, ASP Julian Obin, said the bodies of the deceased have been deposited at the police hospital morgue. We go to the Ashanti region where the Regional Police Command has arrested a 49-year-old man, Kojo Efrifa, whose electrical shop located at Mampon in that region was found to be stocked with assorted offensive military equipment. The police say they are unsure if these offensive items have been already sold and distributed to the public. The Deputy Ashanti Regional Police Commander ACP Ampofuduku said the suspect would be sent to Accra for further investigations. He will be charged with dealing in military ammunition without proper clearance. Well, so yesterday was Mother's Day and I hope you spent some time with your mom and pampered hair. Well, happy and grateful Ghanaian mothers turned the floors of the plush Holiday Inn Hotel here in Accra into a dancing floor. Enjoy the treat from your children on Mother's Day. City FM's Mother's Day treat presented the opportunity to some of the station's loyal listeners to share their mothers with gifts, treat them to a three-course meal, soothing live band music among others. Now, as part of yesterday's celebrations, the Chief Executive Officer of Communication Company, Stratcom, Esther Koba, was given a special award for her exemplary role as a mother. And on that interesting story, we end City News Daily on City TV for today. Log on to City FM Online for more stories. I am Pearl Akanyo Furi. Thanks for watching.